Green Meadow, you had a question for George. Yes. Um, this question comes from Forum Member Space. Could you describe ascension? What can we expect to experience when we ascend? What are the requirements to ascend higher to the next realm? Yeah, okay. The ascension process is, um, okay, it happens in stages. We're already in it. Um, okay, it'll depend which where we look at it from. We, we descended into the dark ages. We bottomed out. And uh, you can say that we started ascending collectively uh, at the Renaissance. That's when ascension began. And uh, so we have been ascending for a few okay. hundred years. Now, the um, we're, right now we're at a very intense part of the ascension process. And the way it works is the more we increase our frequency, the more we start to merge with our higher self. We start expressing the higher aspect, like the 5D aspect, um, and above more often in our day-to-day -day state of being, in our conscious awareness. And that means that the veil between our lower egos and our higher self is thinning. And it happens more and more and more. And it's going to get to the point where the veil is going to be so thin that eventually your this aspect of self will end up just merging completely with the higher self. And in that moment, an opening will appear in this reality and we'll just simply walk through into the fifth dimension. And the moment we do that, on you know, as we walk through it, we will morph and into our 5D embodiment. And that's that's how I understand the process. Um, and the, those openings will start occurring towards about the end of this year, uh, which I feel is the um, around the time of what Cullerman says is the ending of the main calendar. And uh, so from about the 28th of October and onwards, I don't know the exact places because it's up to the individual soul journey how this occurs. And they will happen all the way through till the 21st of December 2012, People going through those openings finishes on the 21st of December 2012. So you've got roughly about a year or so. And so not everybody goes through at the same time. We're all on our individual journeys. So there'll be some, you know, I might not go through till the end of 2012. I just, I don't know yet when it'll be for me. I'd like to think I'm going through sometime in the next um, uh, 12 months. So that's my, my feelings. And, um, and then what happens is a lot of us will be coming back out because we'll have work to do. And when we do come back out, we'll be in a much more empowered state and, uh, and we'll be able to bilocate around the planet and, uh, and do what we need to do, not in an ego sense. We don't have to put on any shows for anybody or anything like that. We just go about our business. And um, so the platform of the fifth dimension um, is where we're actually going to ascend from because, you know, ascension is not going to the fifth dimension. That's We're returning to the fifth dimension, but the full-blown ascension is to become a universal creator of, of love and light. So the fifth dimension on the 21st of March 2013, um, Earth time out here on this level of reality, uh, is when Mother Earth will um, hit centre with her axis and will be in the fifth dimension on her body still. And then all the dimensions implode. Ours do on an individual basis. The planetary ones do. And simultaneously, everything implodes to an infinitesimal zero point, And then um, a new expression of life is birthed. And it's fascinating because I've all often asked Mother Earth, you know, what colour are you going to be when you become a body of light? And I just keep getting magenta. I've been getting magenta for the last few years, and I'm still getting it today from her. And I've had a few emails from people saying, you know what? Uh, and people coming up to me in person in my in my travels of late and saying, I got picked up by my galactic family and uh, I was taken in the future and I was shown Mother Earth and she was a star and she emitted uh, magenta colour. And I think that's just amazing how people have been experiencing this throughout their lives and they just thought, you know, they didn't want to say anything because no one else was saying anything out there about this. But now that I'm voicing a lot of these concepts, you'd be surprised how many people are coming out of the woodwork, so to speak, and uh, correlating their own personal experiences with the information I'm sharing.